So in this lecture, we are going to start some uh, new problems about uh, the geometry in uh, real line. So the question is describe the set. geometrically on the real line so the set is set of all a is the set of all x such that modulus of x is equal to 1 Okay, so let us try to see what is the answer. Now we all know that what is the definition of modulus of x. Let me write the definition. I will just recall it quickly. What is mod of x? Mod of x. If x is a positive number, then I will keep the number as it is. Means I will just write x, right? For example, what is modulus of 5? Because 5 is positive, I will keep it as it is. So modulus of 5 is 5. If the number is negative, suppose I want to find the modulus of minus 5. Then what will I do? I will write the number as it is and put a minus sign in front of it. So if the number is negative number, the modulus of x will be the number as it is i will write like minus 5 and i will insert a minus sign in front of it so automatically the negative number after you insert a minus sign before it gets converted into what it gets converted into a positive number okay so so modulus of x is minus x when is it minus x if that x is already negative and in and before that negative sign i'm putting before that negative number i'm inserting a minus sign so automatically this entire thing will become what it will become a positive number right suppose i put x equal to 0 in that case what is the modulus of 0 and the modulus of 0 is equal to how much 0 right so this is the actual definition of the modulus of x geometrically what does modulus of x denote if i just draw the real line okay if i try to look this is the origin and this is the number five what is the distance of five from origin the distance of five from origin is how much is five units so this is the number and this is its magnitude this is also called what this is also called magnitude magnitude we measure from what we measure from zero so this is the number minus five so what is the magnitude of minus five means i'm asking how far is minus five from origin do we write it as minus five minus five is not the distance because distance cannot be negative so how far is minus five from the origin this is the meaning of modulus of minus 5 okay and the the answer is it is minus 5 is also 5 units away from the origin this is the meaning of modulus of x so if in in general what am i trying to tell you if this is the origin and if this is the x this distance is called as what this distance is called as mod x okay now this x be anywhere even if x is here still this distance will be called as what this distance will be called as mod x so if i put x equal to 5 here i'm going to get here mod 5 but mod 5 is 5 if x is equal to minus 5 i'm going to rev how much distance is this this distance is modulus of minus 5 but what is modulus of minus 5 modulus of minus 5 is what 5 okay so 5 and minus 5 from the origin are at what distance they are at a distance of five units okay so this is the meaning of modulus of x now i will go back to my original question what was my original question my original question was x belonging to real numbers such that modulus of x is equal to how much modulus of x is equal to one okay now i will look at this particular part only what is modulus of x equal to one so consider 
modulus of x is equal to 1. Whenever you get a problem which involves modulus and if it is some equation or inequality, it is always better to split into parts. So x has options. Now, what are the options with x? So I will write case 1. What is the first case? x can be positive. Second case, x can be negative. Okay, right? Either number is positive or negative. What is the third case? Or in the worst case, the number x can be equal to 0. So any number is either positive, either negative, or it is 0. When will I do this thing? when there is modulus involved in the picture okay now if x is positive i will go to the first case if x is positive okay then by definition of modulus what is the answer of mod x then mod x look at the definition i'm going i'm scrolling up okay if x is a positive number then mod x is nothing but what mod x is x so i can replace modulus of x by just x this is the meaning of this if x is negative i can replace modulus x by which quantity i will replace modulus x by just minus x okay so when i go in the case one when i scroll to case one i have x is greater than greater than zero this means by definition mod x is actually nothing but what mod x is actually x right if x is negative then by definition what can i do then by definition mod x this symbol mod x can be just replaced by what can be just replaced by minus x okay so since mod x is equal to one remember we are solving this equation okay since mod x is equal to one this means that this double arrow means this implies that mod x what am i going to replace mod x by mod x i'm going to replace by x and therefore i will get x equal to one this is the first solution that i got in the second case if x is negative then mod x i'm going to replace by what mod x i'm going to replace by minus one minus x so we have what equation are we solving mod x is equal to 1 equation becomes what so mod x can be replaced by minus x is equal to 1 and therefore x will become x will become minus 1 this is the second solution of this equation and if x is equal to 0 then mod x is equal to 0 because if x is 0 the definition of mod x is that mod x equal to 0 then what will the, the equation become then the our question mod x equal to 1 becomes what our question becomes mod of x. How much is mod of x? Mod of x is equal to 0. So 0 equals what? 0 will become equal to 1, which is not possible. So this means case 3 it has to be discarded. I will discard the case 3. I don't need to consider the third case. This case will never arise. So we have only two cases. Case one is x is positive and case two is x is negative. And what are the values of x we got from that? The values of x we got from that is x is either one or x is equal to minus one. So by case one and case two, I got x is equal to one and x is equal to minus one. Therefore this set, so my conclusion is that this set x which is set of all real numbers such that mod x is equal to 1 this set is actually having only two elements those two elements are first element is 1 the second element is minus 1 and when i go in the real line and draw the picture i understand that the solution that i'm having is we have only two real numbers okay and those two real numbers I will show by red dots. So this is minus 1. This red set is our A. Which is minus 1 and 1. Okay. Okay. Let us now solve one more problem. Describe the set. I am going to write the set A as 
subset of all x belonging to real number such that mod x is less than 7. Mod x is less than 7. Okay, so solution. So I will consider the equation as usual. I will consider the equation mod x is less than 7. Now here we again have what? We again will look up into three cases. So what are the three cases? So case 1. What if x is positive? x can be anything, right? x can be positive, x can be negative, x can be 0 also. What will happen if x is positive? We all know that if x is positive, then what is the answer of mod x? What is the value of mod x? Mod x just becomes x. Mod x can be just replaced by x. Therefore, the equation that we are looking, mod x less than 7, this equation actually becomes what? This just becomes x less than 7. This becomes what? Just x less than 7. Now, what are all those real numbers which are less than 7? See here, it is strictly less than 7. Okay, It is not less than or equal to. So, all x which are strictly less than 7 so 7 is not allowed okay so I have so what are all those numbers on the real line which are strictly less than 7 so this is the real number 7 on the real line okay and I want to look at all those numbers which are strictly less than 7 so I will shade them in this fashion so all these numbers are strictly less than 7 and 7 should not be included in my previous lectures. I've told you if you don't want to include some number, okay, you have to circle that number. So that number is not included. And what is this set? This set is nothing but minus infinity open and seven open. So this is nothing but the above shaded set. Now let us go to the second case. What is the second case? The second case is x is negative x negative if x is negative then we all know that mod x can be simply replaced by what mod x can be simply replaced by minus x okay therefore our question therefore what is our question mod x less than 7 was our question right so this becomes so mod x less than 7 this becomes Mod x will be replaced by what? Mod x will be replaced by minus x less than 7. Okay. Minus x less than 7. If I multiply both the sides by negative signs. Okay. If I multiply both the signs by minus 1. Okay. I'm taking negative on the both the sides. Negating both the sides. What is meant by negating both the sides? Means I am going to multiply them by what? I am going to multiply them by minus 1 on both the sides. Okay. That is the meaning of negating both sides. What happens if you take the negation of both the sides? Suppose we all know that 3 is less than 7. Okay. And if I negate both the sides, can I say that minus 3 is less than minus 7? This is not correct. Minus 3 is not less than minus 7. 3 is less than 7 is okay. But when I multiply both the sides by minus 1, minus 3 does not become less than minus 7. The actual fact is that minus 7 becomes less than minus 3. So when I negate both the sides, the less than sign will automatically get converted into a greater than sign. So when I negate both the sides, what will be the next step? This minus x, I will write x. This 7, I will write minus 7. And the less than sign will get converted into a greater than sign now look at this uh, what are all the numbers which are greater than minus 7 so i will draw minus 7 on the real line this is my real line and here i have minus 7 and i, I want all numbers which are greater than minus 7 means i should shade the left part or the right part i should shade the right part of minus 7 because all these numbers that i'm shading now are greater than what they are greater than minus 7 and i don't want minus 7 because the inequality is what the inequality is again a strict inequality and therefore we circle it down so this interval that we have written or this set that we have shaded 
this set is can be written in the form of interval it goes till infinity right here it goes till infinity and it starts from what it starts from minus 7 so i will write it as minus 7 with the open bracket because this is an open set and it is minus 7 to infinity and the last case is what so the last case is x is equal to 0 x is equal to 0 if x is equal to 0 what is mod of x in that case it is mod of 0 and mod of 0 is 0 and what is the original question the original qu question given to us is z a mod x less than 7 and this becomes what and this becomes 0 less than 7 so it is not creating any problems right in the previous part if you remember in the first sum it was actually creating a problem like 0 equal to 1 so here this is not creating any problem so x equal to 0 is allowed therefore x equal to 0 is allowed so now if i look at the three cases all the three cases together what have i concluded from all the three cases i have concluded that in the first case when x is positive when x is negative and in the third case where x is 0 here i got all numbers which are less than 7 means this left part of 7 when x is negative when x is negative i got all the i think i'm right huh uh, yes okay and in the second part when x is negative what in this case what i got all the numbers which are greater than greater than minus 7 and in the third part i got only x is equal to how much i only got zero now what are those numbers in the real line which satisfy all the three conditions so are there any numbers which satisfy the first condition and second condition both third condition is automatically sort satisfied because zero is here itself right so ye, so i so i don't really need this condition right now because x equal to zero is taken into consideration so this means that all such numbers which are less than seven and the numbers should also be what and the number should be greater than minus seven those numbers will be satisfying this particular equation so what are, so where are those numbers so minus seven and seven so when i shade the numbers which are less than seven they will become like this shade the numbers which are greater than seven they will be having a shading from minus seven to infinity so what are the numbers which fall in the common arena the numbers which fall in the common arena are minus seven and seven omitted and these numbers that i'm having a thick shading over here now those numbers will satisfy the equation mod x is what mod x is less than seven and what is this interval called this interval is called open interval minus seven to seven so what is our conclusion our conclusion of this exercise is that the set a which is the set of all real numbers mod x less than seven is actually nothing but an open interval minus seven to seven this will become the answer of our question Okay.